Hi, my name is Chris Richter and welcome to Moodle at Ricochet. I'd like to take you through the process of how to add CSS styles to a single course, even if you are not an administrator. The typical scenario is that you're a teacher in Moodle or a content creator or manager. You don't have admin access to the Moodle platform, so you can't add a theme CSS. You've tried adding CSS to a page, but it was automatically stripped out. One option is to ask your administrator to add a HTML block to your course. Tell them you need this for a general course announcement or some other information that needs to go into your course. Once the block has been added, you'll need to make a few changes. So let's have a look. In our course, I'm a manager at the moment. I need to go to the course. So this is my demo course number one. Turn editing on. You can now see I have a new HTML block over on the right hand side. Go to configure, new HTML block. Down to where this block appears and we want it to appear on every page for this course. So we'll choose any page and over on the right is fine. We'll just put a value in the content as well because we need to have a content value and choose any page and click save. Now that we have our course HTML block appearing on every page, we can add some code. Let's go have a look at the code that we're going to use. The code is this little piece here, which is, if we have a quick look, it just shows a paragraph with class big blue text and some writing that says big blue text inside a paragraph. Then we have the little bit of magic, which is script text type equals text JavaScript with some other information. What this is going to do is add this little bit of CSS to every page in our course. So let's try grabbing that content, grabbing that code, going back to our course and selecting configure HTML block. And you'll get used to doing this quite a bit as you make changes to your CSS. We click on the drop down arrow, which shows the extra uh, icons. We choose HTML, and in here we're going to paste in that little bit of code and click Save Changes. You'll see now over here our big blue text is now big blue text. If we go back to configure HTML block, drop down arrow, HTML, and we change this from color blue to uh, color red, which won't make sense because we've called it big blue text, but that's our CSS class, big blue text, and there's our class there. So that class matches this class here. In fact, we might change, leave that as blue, and we might add in a new class. So we'll call this one red text. So this is just normal CSS, but we're putting it inside these quotes. So we've got dot red text for our class, and we'll just say color colon and red semicolon, and we'll save this. So this is our class is called red text, and we will save this. Looking at the screen, nothing seems to have changed. Let's add a new page in our course. Go down to page, add, and in our page content, we'll call this uh, example CSS page. We'll type in here, this is some important text. And what we're going to do is make the word important red. So to do that, drop down, and we're just going to go in here. And actually, we'll just make all of that writing important. So let's go P class equals, and we called our class red text. There we go. Just like that. And look, it's red. Why is it red? Because even though we're in the editing page, our CSS that we've applied over here is applied to every page. So that means it will, it will apply to the editing page as well. So let's save and display. And we now have some red text on our page. That looks like this. And we could do other things like add borders and all sorts of other stuff. So 
if you want to have a look at that we could go back to our edit over here and remember this appears on every page so every page will have this CSS applied to it so we could go here and say uh, dot uh, we'll call it my button this class here we could put in here um, border uh, 1px solid um, so a gray border uh, we could do padding of 20px and we could do uh, background color of just something fairly light I guess something like that and this is my button it's called we probably should make it something that's a little more obvious so that it looks like a custom button that you designed so let's change DDD for the border to a green border and make it a bit thicker so my button is the class that we're using so let's save that go back to our custom CSS page and I'll fix that CSS up because that will annoy you too yep there we go uh, go down to edit let's put we'll call this a button let's go and look in the code and see what we've got so we want to make this a button instead and the CSS we use is my button and if we just preview that you can see now that that's changed it to a button shape doesn't quite look like a button but it could be used as a button if you wanted to you could change it to an actual button but you can see how the CSS is being applied there we go so that's an actual button as a button let's save and display and maybe change one more thing maybe we should uh, configure the HTML block and go back into our CSS and let's just add border radius 5px and that'll put a curved border around our button we'll save that and go back to our example page and now we've got a little bit of a border around the edge if you wanted to have a look at that we could inspect over here our button class and we've got here we go there's our button with my button as the class and you'll see here my button and that's all the information we put in we made a border of four pixels solid green padding 20 background of gray border radius of which we just added of five pixels and again you can have a look at the paragraph above and you'll see red text which is the class we created and if you for those really technical people that want to know what's happening if we go back to our big blue text part here which is our extra HTML block back into the code what you'll see is happening is that this text information here which is the CSS rules we create a string with our CSS rules now make sure you don't put any extra lines in so it's got to be one big long bit of text so it can get a bit uh, a little bit complicated what we are doing then is creating an element called style we are then attaching the CSS rules to that element we are then adding that to the head or the first uh, element in the head of your page and it's appending that child element uh, basically adding it to the content of the page that this block appears in and if we've set the settings correctly this block appears in every single page now one question you may have is but won't it be strange having this extra block and what do you do with that so this block here can be used for some information about the course uh, it could be uh, contact details for 
your teacher and then you could put you know phone or other details in there it could be just a message that you leave there that it can change regularly say so don't forget to complete your pre assessment documents or some some important message that you need to put there the idea being though that this block appears on every single page and that will make it really really simple for you to use and allow you to apply CSS to to pretty much every page in a course hopefully that's been useful to you uh, leave us a message and uh, if you have any other ideas or any other thoughts uh, it'd be great to catch up thank you